Shop vs. Everybody Podcast, episode 42 in this bitch. We drunk. A little high and shit. I'm a nigga Tafius, man. What's good with What's you, bro? What's the deal, bro? Appreciate you for having me. Oh, yeah. For sure, for sure, man. Hey, man. Usually, we start to show off with a uh, a salute, man. But for the most part, we salute somebody while they're here. We try to go outside the norm. So, we, most of the time, when you say salute, you think about moms, pops, brothers, sisters, kids, or some shit. Try to think about somebody different from, from that. It's always easy to go with moms, dog. Right, like, right. We, I was going to start it off, though, if you... Oh, yeah, yeah, for no, sure. It's, I, it's usually, word. I didn't salute motherfuckers to death, nigga. Like, nigga, I've been salute for 25 episodes, nigga. So, <laughs> I, I ran out of niggas. But, dog, this is a dude on Instagram, dog. I don't know if y'all heard of him. It's uh, Kid L Video. Yeah, Whatever. I think you know, I yeah, 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 yeah. So, y'all, yeah, yeah. when you send him a video and shit, like, he he do the little what's that shit. You probably talking about this. This, this like a I don't want to say a nigga a race wrong. He might be Chaldean or we, we fuck with kids. Oh shit, my bad then. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he do videos. Yeah. yeah. But no, so he got a little yeah. podcast, dog, and um he be uh reviewing niggas videos and shit. So dog, I've been noticing lately like niggas been hating on this shit, dog. Calling him a culture vulture and just cause he ain't white, he can't you know what I'm saying tell a nigga his shit trash. Like nigga, when you send your music to this nigga, be ready. Your shit might be trash, nigga. Right. right. So nigga, if that nigga saying your shit trash, he ain't gotta be black to say your shit trash, nigga. Like trash is trash. You know what I'm saying? And he putting your shit out there because that nigga got good following. So once they, if you trash or you good, they all mad to see who you is. They gonna follow you. So he 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 connecting you to niggas. He revealing your shit at your risk, nigga. Your shit might be good, might be ass, and he motherfucking putting that shit on his platform like. At the end of the day, niggas be hating on niggas because they ain't black or niggas hating because they want everybody to be like, that shit straight when it's really ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be ready to take that motherfucking criticism when you put the music out. For sure, for sure. Nigga, either you ass or you good, nigga. Like, right. And if this nigga give you an opinion on some shit, obviously that nigga been doing videos for a minute, so he kind of like probably know some good music. Yeah. And shit, at the end of the day, you ain't even got to go off his word, nigga. If you know you straight, nigga, fuck what he said. Do you post your shit? Huh? Do you post it? Oh yeah, he 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 do a whole little shit. So right, like, so then yeah, the, six, yep. Yeah. So he posts your name, your video, gonna, and shit. Motherfucker, people gonna say yeah, yeah. Nigga, I'm yeah. Hey, so nigga, that. if they go either in the comments, will be like nigga, your shit, your shit was straight, man. Listen, that nigga, or something like that. Like, right. but these niggas been threatening this nigga, like talking shit about him, saying that he shouldn't be, you know, what I'm saying having an opinion about shit. But y'all sent y'all music to this nigga, so at the end of the day, bro, so kid, he'll shoot you niggas' video. Hell yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> hey man, he <laughs> gonna be on. He said he gonna be on show too, man. What up though? So shit, man, who your uh, salute, dog? Man, you know, big squad all day. I gotta salute Sada Baby, man. That 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 man, you know what I'm saying? I guess I don't really know if, if you know, you know, what's the realms of who we can choose as you start off a family, you know what I'm saying? Good. But for sure, Sada Baby, man, just just from that being a nigga that I fucked with and I, you know what I'm saying, bump heads with it for years and years and yeah. to see his progression, like, you know, 2013, 2012, we in the motherfucking basement in the garage freestyling yeah, and, you know what I'm sure. saying, recording the tapes. And this nigga now, you know, featuring Nicki Minaj, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Nigga, so real, going crazy. So, and shit just getting bigger from there. So for yeah. sure, for sure, hands down, salute to Sada Baby. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Whole straight, big like squad. A, yeah, like I said, like it or, or or not, nigga, that nigga out here, he putting out music, he putting out work, so, you know what I'm saying? He putting he out good thing. quality work. Like, niggas can't be mad at it, you feel what yeah, I'm saying? They got good creativity, good. you feel what I'm saying? It's not it's not nothing like you didn't heard before, yeah, you feel what so, I'm saying? He yeah, don't come yeah. out with the same shit, he got bars, he got, you know, what you missing, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they be remissing them old throwback songs and shit. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? That shit be sweet as hell, I be remissing them bitches. Though, Coming dude. with the singing shit, yeah, you know dancing, what I'm saying? Yeah, having a good time, yeah, nigga. Yeah, lit. damn nigga having a good time. The whole vibe. Hell yeah, dog, for real. Got thugs out there dancing and shit. Yeah, everybody dancing. <laughs> right. Hell yeah, nigga. That nigga went fucking, that one song went crazy on fucking TikTok and all that shit. Yeah, dog. yeah, yeah. All like yeah. choppers. For sure, man. But shit, man, how was it, man, being the youngin', dog? Like, how was it growing up? You from the east, the west? I'm from the east side, off the Warren. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> Warren and Bewick, to oh, keep shit. it clear. You oh, know yeah, what I'm sure, saying? Man, for sure. Right here, for real. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It was decent growing up, though. You know what I'm saying? Pops, pops <laughs> always was at Chrysler. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? She wasn't great, but she wasn't bad for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Moms and pops broke up, but you know, yeah. life was decent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hutchinson, Hutchinson, everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Blackwell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right yeah. there in the, in the way. Near, you know what I'm saying? The basketball coach, dog. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah. nigga, yeah. they had me on the team. Our ass. Game. Hell no. Yeah. What you say? So Blackwell and uh Hutchinson. Hutchinson was my elementary. Blackwell. King, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I started music at Hutchinson. Started yeah. right. I wrote my first 
little rap in my fucking fifth grade. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Been writing there since. And, uh, what was the song? Was it, it was like I love you, Keisha. Was it? No, it was like <laughs> <laughs> no hell no hell you got no. A song for somebody and shit. So <laughs> my pops name Anthony. You feel me? So my little rap name was Little Tony back then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was just like so I'm little I'm. I'm the Tony, I ain't phony, you niggas talk about Loney, you need to sit down and eat some macaroni, you feel me, you know what I'm saying, but I used to, but the thing was, I used to rap that shit so fast, niggas would be like, oh, that nigga called, you feel me, so, but, you know, that's what gave me my first little motivation, you know. That's what, so, you said, uh, Miles and Pops, was, they was together for a period, but then they wound up splitting their ways. Yeah, they broke up when I was like four or some shit like that, they used to scrap all the time, you Man. know what I'm saying, so that was, you hell, know, that yeah, had we, to happen. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause then you don't want no motherfucking crazy shit going on in the crib. You become a big nigga. So yeah, like, yeah, no man. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Tony, you know what I'm saying? As soon as I get, yeah, as soon as I get a little bit. You For feel real. Because that's what happened to me. My, my mom and my dad, dog, like when they broke up, nigga, it came to a point, like, I threw a punch at that nigga on some dumb shit and got my ass whooped. Like, mm. what the fuck was I thinking, nigga? Like, yeah. I'm still about 10, 11, nigga. I ain't got no, no strength to me and shit. Mm. Man, he my ass, boy. Yeah, it was like it was like fighting when I was too young to do shit about it. But yeah, by the yeah. time I got old, like my mama, she from Project, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Warren Connor, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So seven brothers and sisters type shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? So it was more when I got older, like her cracking in his shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Getting his ass together. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get the fuck on. So hell yeah, dog, for you know sure, for sure. So you growing up, you on the east side and shit. Damn, this nigga, the first East Side nigga I had in a while. I've been getting all these like, West Side niggas. East Side. Nigga, dog. It's the east I can't side, say where I'm it? from, dog. Like, east Side. I guess if you want to say where yeah. I spent my 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 important years was on Warren, but nigga, I was I was on Springfield. I was on motherfucking Le uh, what's that one? Shoemaker. Oh, Shoemaker. Shoemaker. Yeah, what's Shoemaker, that one? Yeah. That one little street dog. That bit. No, it wasn't Lemay. It was one of the bitches. They only got like two blocks of it. Like after you get past uh, Springfield. I yeah, Fairview. At Fairview. I, I said Fairview too. Okay. Say on motherfucking Van Dyke. This is one shit. Right around the way. Yeah, Van Dyke, nigga. I stay on motherfucking Beaconsfield. Like I've been all over the place. Beaconsfield. I just stayed on Beaconsfield. I had that shit up, nigga. Like I probably didn't stay about as an adult and a kid, nigga. Probably forty two different addresses. Damn. <laughs> For real. Moving. For real. That's how I met Boom, nigga, over here on Cooper. And I stay on Cooper and shit. Like yeah. I was on the. I was on the. Well, I say nigga, the regular side of Cooper, cause the other side, them niggas wild, dog. Like. Them niggas some motherfucking gorillas away for real. Like them niggas crazy as hell. <laughs> but shit, man, you say uh in school, man, what's how was you in school? Like, was you a motherfucking athlete? Was you in that bitch like Oh shit, I was smart ass nigga and shit, I was a smart ass nigga, society? but I was, you know what I'm saying? I was I was with the hood niggas, you feel what I'm saying? Like getting suspended for dumb shit, for, for gangs and walkie talkies and you know, <laughs> cussing out the teachers and all that shit. Yeah. But uh, you know what I'm saying, soon as soon as motherfucking I was always dibbling and dabbling in sports, but you know what I'm saying, as soon as the music got to go into high school. It was like little 16, you know, sweet 16 shows and talent shows and all that shit. So I was a rapper fast, you know what I'm saying? What was, the, what was the one shit you played the most? Like football or basketball? Like which one you played the most and shit? I definitely played basketball the most. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had a little I had a little jumper, but I was fast. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. you know, I could steal some and good defense. I could yeah, steal yeah. some shit, you feel me? Oh, I wouldn't never know. You be having that motherfucking football defense and play basketball like that. Oh, like, yeah, damn, yeah, these yeah, niggas yeah. be on you the whole time. Yeah. Now you yeah. feet like oh, yeah, for damn sure. like niggas chill out, But see, you feel me? <laughs> I ain't got the ball, nigga. I wasn't no I wasn't no Kobe or no shit like that. So you feel me? I had to I had to get 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 hard in my lane, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Hell, type yeah. of shit. So you know what I'm saying, but you know I definitely did with that. But I played football a little bit. You know what I mean. But uh, you know for the sports, it was always too much running. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I was started off smoking like 15, 14. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Early. Smoking and drinking. I, damn, so, nigga, it was drinking and smoking yeah, at fourteen, dog. Yeah. Nigga, you know I had my first drink, dog. Till I was fucking. <coughs> I was like two months away from being twenty-two, dog. Damn. Yeah. See, I had a cousin. My cousin was. Eight years older than me. I used yeah. to hang out with him every weekend type yeah. shit. If I went at Boom House, that was at my cousin's house. Yeah. And that that's what we doing. We around the halls, we drinking, we smoking, <laughs> you feel me? So. Dog, I mean that bit scared as hell, nigga. I'm here with my nigga Reds, dog. But then it be everybody drinking, so everybody going around like what you want, niggas like nigga, I want Tron, I want this, I want that. Got the meat, I'm like, nigga, let me get a motherfucking uh moon miss, dog. Nigga laugh my ass out the motherfucking studio. I'm like, nigga, hey, I was scared to drink that shit, dog. Like First drink I had my nigga Weez, dog, was Great Goose, dog. Yeah, just Nigga, I went to the club, nigga, felt like I was floating, nigga. Like, damn, you get all the confidence in the world talking about yeah. what you see, like. Damn, I had, damn, I wasn't drinking. I was scared to talk to motherfucking Sheila. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that bitch. Get loose. Yeah, that's loose when you find out that. When you too drunk, nigga, you find out the next day. Nigga, you know, IG wasn't popping like that. You be like, send me a picture. Like, what the fuck was I on? Yeah, like, yeah. This bitch look terrible. <laughs> 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 I was too drunk that night, nigga. So, so shit, like a lot of times, dog, like I be mentioning other podcasts, interviews, dog. 
Whenever you get your uh your musical influences, usually it be like the shit that your mom and pops was playing at the crib. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? When they cleaning up and shit or cooking. Like, what well, some shit you was hearing from your mom or your dad when they was doing their th- thing, dog? Well, well, definitely I want to say that, like, you know what I'm saying? Since elementary, I've been, like, Wayne here since Hot Boys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The gold star. But, like, as far as my moms and my pops, like, you, you'll get, like, that, that, that vibey shit from me because my moms was always, you know... Anything Neil saw, Eric about dude, Jill Scott, Sade, um, and they both was like steppers, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Kim, you know what I mean, Raheem yeah. Devine, like both of them, Raheem, both of them yeah. vi- vibes is both of my parents. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They always was on some chill vibey shit, and I, I, I think, I think that's why I fuck with a lot of currency. You know what I'm saying? You get Yo, a lot of, that shit funny because like, yeah, currency that nigga though. Oh like, yeah, that nigga go. I mean, I'm talking about vibe. since since nigga Young Money days when he was yeah, on yeah. featuring on Carter too. Exactly. Though. You like, know what I'm saying? Been Since squad, squad up days, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So this was this and BG Dog been around shit. for a while, yeah. Hell yeah, dog. No, definitely uh, currency. Like, before we get to your music, I was like saying that shit like you got, like you could hear a little wheezy in you, like you got some influence in your for shit. For sure. Like nigga, that's, that's what, uh, so you say that was, the, they was listening to, what Pops was listening to, nigga, what rap people was listening to? Uh, Pops was me on a lot of X, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. a lot of that shit that I said with moms was like, Carried into pops as far as yeah, like, that nigga, you know what I'm saying? But for sure, X, like, I was a hardcore X fan, um, Pac fan, Machiavelli, all that, that era, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Biggie, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, he 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 was kind of like a, a, a party music type of motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He used to always go to Shanks and he used to get the little in the, mi- <laughs> in the mix volume. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, 85. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, be having Stack all type of mixes, bitches. dog. Like, damn. All this new shit out. That's just funny, though, because like, I was wondering when that shit was going to run out. Like, nigga, nigga, R&B mix, nigga, 89. Nigga, right. like, damn, when that bitch going to run out? 134. Like, I remember my motherfucking shit. producer's last uncle. That nigga had the booty talk shit. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The porno <laughs> shit. Had all that shit in there. Booty talk seventy four. Nigga, I be mean, like, hey, put on booty talk ninety nine. Nigga, had that brown skin bitch to every pussy. I be just throwing that neck back. <laughs> nigga, had wrote motherfucking scenes on that bitch like nigga. Duh. Nigga, minute thirty two. Nigga, she was going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no <the> time. <laughs> for real, for real. All right, so you said, you know, what I'm saying you said Biggie, you said X dog. That's a good question right there. Like I asked a lot of niggas. When you ask a lot of niggas who ain't top five, of course they gonna say the, the, the normal niggas. Give me your top five without Biggie Pop, J Hove. I said J Hove, J Nas, and Eminem. Without those. Without J Nas, Pop, Biggie, and Eminem, dog. Your top five. Cause it's easy to name your top five with them niggas. Yeah, um, for sure, right? Uh, definitely go Wayne. Yeah. Um, Fab. Yeah. Um. Thing. <laughs> All right, you gotta dig. You know, Andre 3K. Dog, I wish that nigga would put out a solo album. Dog, for Straight real, rap, like that nigga. The features be so fire. Just yeah. give us some shit. <laughs> that nigga said something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's three, nigga. Who your last two? Um, man? I gotta give it to Currency and I will say Future. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Currency, though, nigga be sleep. Like, niggas, and that nigga put out a fucking give you six mistakes in a year. Yeah, 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 cramming them bitches out. I mean, it's, 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 I got a little hate relationship with the, with this, you know what I'm saying, the last few years of currency, you know what I'm saying? I'm that cur- covert coop, you know what I'm saying? Currency, like, I like that, it's like solid shit. He get, a, he get comfy, got his, his base, you know what I'm saying? So he could drop whatever, niggas gonna go crazy over yeah. it. So it'd be like, you know, certain shit, I'll be looking for more, you know what I'm saying? As an artist, I hold niggas to higher tier. Like, you show me that fire, I want that fire every time, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that'd be pressure on niggas when you drop something, then you got to back that shit up, like. Yeah, yeah, like Dang. like Wayne being the number one on my list, because, yeah. like, from here, since he made that transition with the lyricality, it's like you you be getting the bars every time, you know what I'm saying? He, he don't come short on, on that creativity lane, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, 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 man. Wayne, Wayne, my nigga, dog. Like, that's the, that's the first CD, because the first... Uh, first CD I bought was Wayne Lights Out. Lights Out. Yeah, yeah and that, that. I'm like, that was nigga hard. Yeah, like, yeah, cause my brother was putting me on that shit, and my uncle, dog, like, Wayne, when he was with the Hot Boys, when that nigga was like fucking 12, 13. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, was, he had that one song called Block Burner. Like, yeah, like yeah, I've been Wayne burner. fan from day one. Like, yeah, same. Like, same. like I, it's like Kobe and Shaq, like, nigga. I mean, Kobe and um, Jordan. Like, Jordan, I know to me, Jordan the best player, but nigga, Kobe my favorite player. Right. So I know Pac the best rapper, but Wayne my favorite rapper. Cause that's when I started becoming like a music fan. Agreed. Off that nigga, I'm like, that's why I used to fuck up and mix him and Turk up. Like, damn, which one is who? Mm-hmm. Cause them niggas just sound yeah, like. Yeah, on that motherfucking Juvie had a CD. Yeah, them niggas just yeah, signing yeah. the same similar. Yeah, Project yeah. English. Project English, nigga. What that shit, nigga? Mama got she get from her mama and shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hell no. So what's the uh, what's the first album you remember buying or cassette or, or bootleg? 
Uh, I don't remember the name, but it was the Hot Boy CD with the gold star on oh, it. Oh, that's Guerrilla Welfare. Yeah, 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 Guerrilla Welfare. Yeah, that Hell was the yeah. first year I ever bought. I nigga, you well, had you. had my cousin cousin buy for me because I was yeah. like, uh, that's what you need a parent yeah. to buy your shit though. If you want to see it, yeah. yeah. I remember <laughs> when I uh, bought that motherfucker DMX, flesh of my flesh, yeah. blood of my blood. OG yeah. took that bitch. <laughs> and now you can't listen to that shit. Oh my god. Oh yeah, Wayne, the, the Hot Boys nigga, they had everything. Nigga, BG dropping every five mm -hmm. minutes. Nigga, uh, uh, big timers, nigga, like right. all them niggas, dog, was dropping every other day, nigga, like. Yeah, that's definitely. What definitely. What you think, Barry, nigga? You a Wayne fan, nigga? Card one or card two? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Carter too. I mean, I'm gonna say Carter too for the the lyrics. The lyrics, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I say bro. better production is Carter one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Manny you got yeah, you got some fire fire on on Carter one. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like Carter two was more full. It had it had more of that album feel to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like he was he graduated a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Got got a little bit more settled in. Hell yeah, for sure. Money on my mind. You know yeah, what money saying? on my mind. Yeah, that's when that nigga, yeah, them niggas was, uh, was the truth. The only thing I be mad about Wayne, like, nigga, like, if you know your dread is going away, nigga, just go ahead and cut that shit, yeah, Get you a taper, nigga. Like, you LeBron the rap game, nigga, right now, dog. Like, fix that shit. That yeah. nigga, I'm like, damn, man, Wayne, let that bitch go, cuz. Get you, get you a little, bre a little brush and get the wave pattern going, dog. I think I heard looking terrible. That's still that my nigga, though, dog. I love Wayne, right. dog. Start the bitches over. Hell yeah, dog. So, Shit, that, 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 that's my next question. Like, shit, we see that shit. Like, you, I was gonna say, like, once you got ear for music on your own, as a as a little nigga, like middle school, high school, elementary, like, what was some shit you remember? Like, damn, these these the niggas I'm I'm, I'm listening to on a, on a, on a daily. Joels, Dipset, yeah. you know what I'm saying for sure. Yeah, uh, Dipset, nigga. A lot of that, and it was Wayne. Like, I was I was I listened to a lot of Wayne, Jeezy for sure. You yeah. know what I'm saying, Gucci, uh, but primarily. Man. I was I was listening to the same shit, and then once like, twenty eleven is when I bought my first home studio shit. So yeah. oh, uh, that's we was just listening to Wayne, and we was freestyling and making our own shit. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. yeah. So so how was you? You start rapping, dog. Like you said, feel great and hustling. That's what you great. That's when I wrote my first rap. Yeah, the little okay. Tony and shit. Yeah, yeah. little Tony, little Tony. Hell, hell yeah. yeah! So uh, shit, with the with the music shit, when you remember like, it was that, that that was the first song you ever wrote. Yeah, that was the first thing I ever wrote. We I started mean, rapping in front of niggas, like, nigga, like, hey, nigga, I, I spit, nigga, and they be like, dog, go ahead and spit, dog, like. Well, ever since then, ever since then, like, you know what I'm saying, once I finished that rap and rehearsed it so much, and then the first thing I learned how to do was to rap fast as hell. Like, back in the back in the day, I don't, I try to get away from that shit nowadays, because niggas got to hear what the fuck yeah, you're saying, yeah, but, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying, shit. yeah, <laughs> twist and shit, that shit, Yo, over, yeah, that shit over with. Twist me but, some, some sweet shit. You, you said know, some shit, what you say, nigga? You can't, sweet, you can't do it again. It can't be another nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But uh, once I mastered that shit, it was like I had to let everybody hear that shit. You feel yeah. me? Then it was like niggas be like, oh, yeah, come rap it for him. Come rap it for him. You feel yeah. me? So it was like I just had to keep rapping that shit. I wanted to keep rapping that shit because I love the reaction I was getting out of niggas. And yeah. then wrote the next shit, wrote the more shit, more shit. You feel me? And then when I really got serious, 2011, you know what I'm saying? That's when I was writing song songs type shit. And... Yeah. You know. So, so, how, how, so when you uh, when, when did you graduate, dog? Oh seven. Oh seven. Okay, okay, okay. So shit, you start. You say eleven uh, is when you start taking this shit like for real, for real serious. Like let me try to make something out of this shit. Yeah, it was like. It's like I would record with, with niggas, you know what I'm saying? I was in a little group back then in high school, called ourselves the Deck Boys and shit like that, yeah. you feel me? And but my dog had the studio, you feel me? So we go to his shit to record and then we had a postal postal worker nigga, nigga named Said, he had a home studio, but his shit was laid, you feel me? He had a booth and all that shit, so he was fucking with his post office Yeah, he had that postal money, he had cheese down there, you know what I'm saying? It looked like it from from my high school perspective, you feel me? But you know what I'm saying? He had the studio, but it was like, you know, that was my limitations on recording niggas, you know what I'm saying? It was when I go to niggas other other nigga shit. So I just wanted to rap all the time, every day. So So you just got that shit early then. Got that shit myself. That was like one of those times when niggas was using the what the fruity loops. I was, yeah, niggas was for sure. Yeah, 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 I, yeah I, was using, I was using some Sony Acid shit, yeah. music studio shit, but you know, same shit. Hell, yeah. Really. Hey, when, when uh, so we started recording your shit like dog. Your first time in the studio, dog. Like a lot of times that shit be terrible, like because you don't know like. Yeah. Most niggas who they first time in the studio, they trying to rap so much on the beat that they sound dumb as hell. Like. Yeah, but see, we was big. We was big as fuck on freestyling, like. That's like we just we had this shit called the tapes. We was just video recorders freestyling because we felt like niggas wasn't doing it, and niggas yeah. always say freestyling. It's not a freestyle. They reading yeah. off the phone. So we we always we always worked out on them bitches. That was our our main thing. So when it came time to recording, you feel me? We kind of had 
that delivery off bill, you know what I'm saying? It was like learning to record was, you know, it was a quicker process for us, cause, well, for me back then and there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember a nigga, my nigga want me to rap dog. My first time in that bitch, that shit was straight ass. Yeah, yeah, when, <laughs> once you, when you jump into some shit, you got to get used to everything. Yeah, I'm in that bitch trying to give it to the motherfucking uh, 98 WJLB. I'm in that bitch in the oh, parking yeah. lot. Me and my nigga Red, shout out Red. We used to that bitch getting these nigga, uh, <laughs> giving these nigga CDs, nigga. So much cash on that bitch, they laughing at us like, dog, we need to edit it first. I'm like, damn, we ain't got that bitch. Like, yeah. shit, get the fuck out, nigga. Oh, we had pressed the bitch up, had the little motherfucking, uh, little print on that bitch, dog. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, we thought we was going shit. somewhere, nigga. My nigga Red stole KDZ whole song, damn it. <laughs> 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 uh, what was he had? That Count My Dough Money? Uh, oh, no, it was 20, no, some choppers in the, some four good. fifth on the left, oh. two bitch, all them strapped, whatever that was. This nigga, uh, my nigga Red came up with 20 foes. I'm like, damn, that's a hard ass hook. Nigga, that shit was like exactly what this nigga KDZ was saying, dog. <laughs> He just flipped that bitch a little bit, dog. Uh, that shit was hard, though. We thought we was going to get signed, nigga, but that shit didn't work out, cuz. Yeah, that's how that shit, that's how that shit go. <laughs> that shit didn't work out that one bit, nigga. Like, fuck, dog. What's some shit you need in the studio, dog? Like, niggas need bitches, liquor, weed, nobody. Oh, I definitely need to smoke. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to drink, but sipping ain't, ain't bad, you feel me? Yeah. I definitely need to just, you know, be comfortable and be, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm an overthinking ass nigga, so I need to... Uh, you know, it's good smoke. I, I'm big on the medibles. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I make the, the See, I, I make the strongest that. edibles in the city. Yeah. See, we used to talk about you, nigga. Like, Oothies. I can't fuck with that. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for this sure, nigga so. right in my apartment building. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to me last time, nigga. Also, oh, nigga, that elbow had me so high, nigga. My son about to rob me. I didn't know what the fuck he was doing, but I knew what he was doing, nigga. I, was, I, I knew what he was doing. I was scared as hell, nigga. Like, nigga. I don't even want to go back to that time, nigga. I called my brother, dog, because shit, this nigga class the pie here, so I know he know about weed. I know he can tell me if I'm tripping or not, nigga. Like, I'm to the point that I'm about to cry, nigga. Like, I think I'm so high, nigga. Too high. <laughs> like, nigga, my, nigga, my, my heart was racing. Dog, nigga, nigga was like, terrible. Right. My you wife in the shower, nigga, I'm like, dog, you might have taken me to the hospital. Like, right. I'm like, I fucked up, like. Because my nigga, my cousin brought me these edibles, dog. I, I ate a little piece at 430, bro. I couldn't feel that shit. Mm -hmm. 730, now I take a big ass chunk. <laughs> <laughs> I eat that bitch, nigga. I'm on the couch like I'm in that bitch tripping. Like nigga, I'm everybody looking at me, nigga. I'm I'm scared of everybody. Yeah. Nigga, eyes, nigga, looking like cartoons, nigga. Like nigga, I had to leave my wife because she was scaring me. I go in there, I'm watching the motherfucking um the Michael Jordan dot, nigga. I'm in my bed, nigga. I'm laying down my bed, but my my legs is going in running motions, nigga. Like no. I was fucked up, nigga. I call these two niggas down there in tears, nigga. Like, cuz like. I might have to go to the hospital, nigga. Like, what the fuck, nigga? Yeah, them bitches ain't no hoe. Them yeah. bitches ain't no Because it's like, nigga, when you smoking, I guess it's like a head high. But when yeah. the edible kind of get your whole body high, whole nigga. Your body. pinky toe high in that yeah, bitch. Like, yeah, <laughs> Nigga, you, you ain't no nigga. Then they creep in. Then motherfuckers always feel like it ain't working. So they <laughs> eat some more. <laughs> they always feel like it ain't working yet. Oh, for sure. You say you 14, nigga. Like, how is that getting high and you living with your parents, nigga? Like, how can you go home? Well, <laughs> both of my parents were smokers, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, my mama tried to keep it away from me, but, yeah. you know, it's tails all around. The first time I ever got high was 13, when my, my little homie came over, and my pops was at work, you feel me? And he got tails and all the ashtrays, you feel oh. me? So we tell him, we smoke all the tails up, blow as fuck, watching, that's when the Nelly tail. Shake your tail feather video no, out type shit. No, Blood as hell laughing at the video because it came on like a movie or some shit. <laughs> but yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, we was always around. Then, you know what I'm saying, my cousins and we in the hood. So. Yeah. Because I can't imagine smoking at 13. Now I probably would have killed myself, man. Yeah, I wasn't like, I wasn't no, I wasn't no smoker. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But. I, I hit that bitch. Hey, back then with the Reggies and shit, nigga. Yeah, what the Reggies was that one shit? Sure. That, it wasn't Kush, it was that motherfucking Gans, uh, Gans nigga. Mm -hmm. Gans. I was just, I, nigga, my cousin's young Gans had me smoking a Gans blunt, nigga. Yeah. Like, I mean, that bitch, nigga, flow. Flow, high as hell. My first time hitting shit. She smell like, it man, like my dookie blunt. My fucking heart was about to bust. <laughs> man, dog. Yeah, that shit would kill you, nigga. Like, oh, I mean, that shit. bitch, nigga, I'm about to motherfucking straight die, nigga. Like, yeah. damn. Shit, so shit, man. You say you doing your music and shit like, dog. The, you got the uh, the intro tape out and shit like that. That's the first project you put out, or just like no, this is the second project. I put out my first project in like 2016. Yeah, it's what called was that it's called A and L. Okay. Ain't no love. Okay. Um, that's back before Sada blew up. He on there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Man, Mark White on there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, that's the one I put out, and that was the first start to the series. But you know. Yeah. A lot of shit happened, so it's been too long. So, see, what, what, it's cause you say it was 2016? 
2016. See, what's the gap, nigga? Like, shit, that's, that's a motherfucker four years, it's nigga. A long like, ass gap. It's a long ass gap. Like, I never had stopped doing music yeah. in between them, you know what I'm saying? But I I, I engineered, I mixed and mastered. I engineered and executive produced A&L to okay. its entirety, except for the beats. All the beats is Jose the Plug and uh, Zell Banks, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Shit like that. So it came a point in time where I had to elevate my everything, you know what I'm saying? I need I was using Sony Acid, I need Pro Tools, I needed a better mic, need all this shit. So I put the engineering shit down for a minute and, you know, was going to other studios and different shit like that. So I was still putting out like it's it's videos in between that gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, it's content in that gap. Like that. But no, it wasn't a project. And then too, I felt like the project was premature. It was more so like I gotta put out a project. I gotta put out a project. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really have a fan base, no, no shit like that. So yeah. it was just like you yeah. Know. So shit, you put this out, man. How you how you feel like you put this you put this out last month, right? Yeah, last month. But you feel like the reaction is so far, like from the people, like how you feel about it? Um, like I ain't really put the pro, proper promo behind it, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. Uh, it's definitely been all positive. You know what I'm saying. I feel like it's a sleeper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. It got good vibes on there. It's it's definitely jam packed. You are gonna have to listen to that bitch a couple times to catch everything in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. It's good fire. It's good heat in there. Yeah. You know, it got some. You know, it's See, it my, got the vibe. I, 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 but, I, I, Cause you know, you got seven songs and shit. That's all I'm gonna say. It's like the new wave and make sure like. Cause you don't want to over over song a nigga though. Right, right. Cause you got motherfucker twenty songs. You're like, damn, I don't even know. Nigga like, ain't nigga. gonna want to dive like, in. Low key, you the most time you listen to music is either if you working, depending on what type of job you got, mm -hmm. or if you in the car. Right. You know what I'm saying so like, nigga, if you got like I said, a quick hitter, you can go through them bitches. Ain't gotta worry about missing something. Yeah, exactly. So you think that's like the new wave, like niggas dropping like less songs and un ten or under. Definitely, definitely is the new wave. I think, and then niggas doubling back with the del deluxe. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And hitting you with some more songs. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know, shorter bodies of work, quicker bodies of work. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Ninety seconds, two minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely the way. You know what I'm saying? That three verse uh, song, that shit dead. Yeah, like, yeah. nigga. Okay. That third verse, you like, come on, dog. Like, right, damn, nigga. What right. else you gotta say about motherfucking your life? Exactly, like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nigga drop three hear. verses, you that bitch like, cuz. Mm -hmm. Damn, nigga, you love her ass a lot, nigga. Yeah. Like, you make a motherfucking R&B song, nigga. Like, three verses is a motherfucking motherfucker. Right. That's what I'm saying. With the last person was on the show, like, nigga. Niggas fucking the songs. Now it's easy. Back in the day, nigga, it was a 15 minute song. You got some pressure in your hand. Right, nigga. right. You gotta last that whole song. You gotta be, <laughs> keep it, keep it <laughs> juicy. OJ's and shit, Temptation, them motherfucking songs long as fuck. Like, yeah. them niggas had a whole RB movie. The niggas was more free too. They was, they was doing whatever the fuck they wanted to do in that bitch. Whether it was good to them or not. You feel me? They rocking with it. Them niggas talk about all type of rape culture in the songs. Yeah, crazy. Motherfucker, <laughs> motherfucking all day, type crazy. of shit, dog. Motherfucking, uh, what's the niggas? Bad Bill DeVoe? Them niggas had a little motherfucking. Uh, I remember they had a song, and it was a line on that bitch that was just, nigga, that shit shouldn't have been on that bitch, dog. They said, oh, she's 16. I'm like, nigga, y'all niggas gotta be 20-something. Like, hey, <laughs> these niggas raping, dog. Yeah, Stab Trey right. on the song, dog. Like, damn. Regular. That shit fucked up, dog. So you got this project, dog. Like, what's your favorite? What? Give me your top three songs on a project, dog. I know what's name is the hardest song to me. I like that the most out of all seven. Which one? 30. 30? You fuck yeah. with 30? Hell yeah, that's, that's hard. crazy. That's, that's too hard. hard. Yeah. You talking shit on that bitch because what me and my uncle was laughing once shit you said on the on the, uh, on the other song they got the video some also nigga you busting like she got her tube tied yeah. like <laughs> I'm about to be I'm about to go through that shit I'm about to grab my girl tube tied we had a baby yeah. in December you ain't got, you gonna be step crazy that motherfucker Duh, cause hey. ain't, ain't stressed out afterwards like damn good she might be pregnant. fuck yeah uh, you adjust the shit you don't know she pregnant you already making cosplays <laughs> <laughs> So you so, top three on that bitch, Top right? three, um, damn, that's crazy you said 30, because that was like at the bottom for me, but that's like, hard, a couple nigga, niggas you, fuck with, fuck yeah, with I mean, I fuck, I fuck with, I, I think every, I like, I like every chunks, song, but I like, every song fire yeah, for sure, yeah. but uh, top three, it definitely had to be uh, Amazon, yeah. um, Chunks, yeah. and motherfucking Big Ape shit. Okay. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? I, 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 I like 30, nigga, like, when that nigga, uh, Boom had sent me some music, said he had somebody who rapped, I'm like, man, that's probably... <laughs> This nigga probably be a you know, Detroit nigga, got that Detroit sound and shit. Yeah, yeah I, I heard him like, that nigga, nigga got a nice little sound and shit. Like, okay, yeah, it ain't yeah. Detroit shit, cause you know when you hear the Detroit song, nigga, you know the beat, you know the flow, the cadence, what yeah. he talk about. Like, it got the same, it's just the same pattern. It's okay to talk about the same shit, cause there ain't too many things you could talk about. Right, but it's just your delivery though. Like, everybody in Detroit got the same type of delivery, bro. Everybody sound like Doughboy Cash out team. Right, inside, right, man. right. Like everybody. So your shit was your shit was different. So on that on that part, I'm like, all right, me go ahead and, and fuck with it. And shit, that shit was straight though. Okay, hell yeah, yeah I appreciate straight. that. What shit. you gonna do with following shit? Like, 
you want to drop more visuals or you want to see are you working on an album like what up um right now we working on uh promotion you know what i'm saying yeah. and and definitely dropping 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 you know what i'm saying i'm i got commercial shit coming i'm finna you know the holy lil wayne holy just dropped so i'm finna remix that uh but i got singles on the way i'm finna drop yeah. You know what I'm saying? Singles and more videos. We waiting on the talk video right now. Yeah. Should be dropping any day now. Um but you know, I'm just I'm I'm probably got like five more singles. Yeah. And just wanna hit them with another project. Yeah. You so know you what I'm saying? What, what do you think like you will drop that bitch like next year or in the next year with, with, um, with no timetable? It it really ain't no timetable. It could come, you know what I'm saying? It really just depend on how fast I start dropping these singles, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So it could come Christmas for niggas, you know what I mean? It could yeah. it could come January, February, you know what I mean? But uh, you know, we yeah. work we working on the numbers for sure. So we yeah, yeah, we for sure. Hey, you gotta advertise that shit like now, nah, nigga shit, you just gotta flood motherfucking social media with that shit every day. Right. Niggas niggas flood that bitch so much niggas might nigga delete you as a friend, nigga fuck you, nigga like shit. send that bitch like nigga I what I do nigga like with the podcast, I send that bitch like nigga twenty niggas a day. This is in their inbox. Mm. They follow me back, they follow me back, they don't, they don't. Right. I just do like that. I be seeing niggas who be having IG pages with 17,000 followers and nigga, 12 of them bitches is fake because they ain't bought them bitches. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah. about to go out my way and buy them motherfucking yeah, IG fuck followers, that. nigga. Fuck like, that. Mm-hmm. This nigga buying views and shit. It ain't like, going to do you no good anyway. This shit ain't organic. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't, ain't going to build the brand. Cause you, all your motherfucking uh, followers is motherfucking niggas from Israel with two pictures. Like, right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and two of them bitches, one's a cat, one's a dog. Like, right. damn, this nigga fake as hell. Like, There's some nigga, nigga trying to get $50 out you. Yeah, because niggas be wanting to come on show. Like, damn, they got big ass followers. Let me check their motherfucking followers. Like, man, this shit all fake. Yeah. <laughs> fake ass shit, dog. Give me your what's name, dog. Who you grew up with listening to from Detroit, dog? Because like, I ain't gonna lie, first nigga I listened to from Detroit was, uh, was Rock Bottom. And, uh, and, uh, Big Hurt, like that's the first time I got on Detroit music for real. Um, it was Blade for me for sure. Yeah, Blade was was the first. Like my pops had played a lot of shit that I wouldn't be able to remember because I didn't continue to play it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not to say I I ain't fuck with it or whatever. I was just was definitely on my own shit early with the music. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, definitely was a lot of Blade. Like I was a big. Big Blade fan. Yeah, yeah. Blade you know was cold, dog. Blade was uh, Team Eastside back in the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, though. I had, like, I'm from the East, but I had, like, Doughboy better, dog. You like Doughboy better? Yeah, I was like, them niggas better than Team Eastside. Like, shit, ain't no, ain't no disrespect. Yeah, I think, niggas, I think. Like, Payroll to me is, that's my favorite nigga, like, from the Detroit scene. Like, I think them niggas was more wholesome first. Like, yeah. they they had, they had the shit more together as yeah. far so as. Some niggas like, signed with Jeezy, and niggas started hating them niggas. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you know, that's how that shit go. <laughs> Yeah, that's but, how that shit go. Cause I know wasn't he? He a coach out there. Payroll. I fuck with kid too. Oh yeah, Tom Tom. I fuck with a lot Tom-tom, of Tom Tom. Yeah, a lot Tom-tom. of Tom Tom back in the day. That, I remember we was at the club when that nigga shot that. Uh, damn, was it that? What up though? I think yeah, it was, was dog. One of the bitches. No, what was that song he had with uh, Jazzy Faye? Had did that bitch over or something? Um, one of them niggas, dog. I forgot. But wherever that bitch it was, it was in um, it was at Plan B. No, it was like a couple yeah, weeks I remember playing B. before Wilson got beat down. I remember Young Bird got his chains, took and shit in Detroit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nigga snatched that nigga chain up yeah, and shit real yeah. quick, dog. But no, I fuck with uh, I fuck with Tonto. I had fuck with Wilson heavy too. Uh, K D Z. K D Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. K D Z. I fuck, I fuck with, with uh, Stress Money too. That nigga. Stress Money. Yeah, I don't man. think if he if he probably ain't get locked up, that nigga probably would. I don't know. That nigga probably would got bigger than. Yeah, he I think so because he had he had good song quality. Like you know what I'm saying, it's different between being being a good rapper but making a good song that niggas gonna Hell yeah. fuck with. Shit, what what you think make you stand out from these from these these, these other niggas from the city, dog? What's some shit? I mean, the city of Detroit got, you know what I'm saying, we got our own our own culture of music, our own lane of music, you feel what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm a part of it, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not a part of it, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. I damn near can't, you know what I'm saying, blow up off Detroit shit, because, you know what I'm saying, that ain't, you know what I'm saying, how I come. So it's like, yeah. you know, that's the number one thing, and then you're going to get... You're gonna get 100% fire out of my shit every yeah. time. Every type of song you hear is gonna make you think you're gonna have to pay attention to that bitch. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not coming with, you know what I'm saying, from the chorus to the everything I'm putting, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just, you know, I don't hate on niggas how they do they, they, they shits, but it sometimes take me two hours to write a verse. Cause yeah. Hell yeah, take not, time be- with that bitch. not because I can't write bars, you yeah. feel me? 30 of them bitches and got rejected, you feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hell Seven yeah. of them bitches and got rewrote and retweaked, and, yeah, you know what I'm saying? To yeah. punch harder and to come off the delivery and off the, the cadence, you know what I'm saying? So, sure. shit more heavy when you when you listen to my shit, you know what yeah. I'm saying? 
and it's fire. You feel me? It's good fire. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm the most slept on nigga on the east side. You feel oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Most slept nigga on slept on nigga on the east side. Shit, fuck it, niggas say Detroit, nigga. Shit. Yeah, yeah, in the city for sure. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. So shit, you you know you said earlier you said Fab was one of your niggas though. Like, can you make them type of songs? Like, nigga, I love you songs, nigga. Like, yeah, bitch, you definitely. my all, nigga. Most like, definitely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Most definitely, I haven't. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I'm on my knees crying for this bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but, you know. I could put an auto tune on and talk some shit to him for sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's that's that's what that's what is, is also the main focus too. I felt like, you know what I'm saying, with A and L and you know what I'm saying, with the shit that I dropped, it was more so just, you know what I'm saying, me trying to stay in the realm where I can grab Detroit niggas, like sure, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, cause Hobie fuck with that Detroit shit too, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm here, you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm I'm trying to put that shit out otherwhere, but yeah. where I'm physically at is here, so I gotta grab these niggas first. But you know what I'm saying? For them but the shit that's, that you hear is more conceptual conceptual, it's more, you know what I'm saying, deeper stories. I'm definitely gonna get into storytelling type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a lot of shit that niggas ain't heard from me. Like we got Four or five hundred songs that ain't never been released because they was all practice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, type shit. So, boom, you on them bitches, nigga? You rapping yeah, too, man? Yeah, boom on them bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> boom on them bitches. Motherfucker saying a couple of lines and shit, that bitch, huh? Yeah, 2011, booms in the booth. Yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? For some years, you feel me? I kept that bitch on low key at first. Nigga. I what the fuck I was doing at first, nigga? Like, yeah, we kept all that shit. Yeah. We didn't put none of this shit out. We, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that shit can get remade, though. Oh, yeah, we got yeah, hits, though. Good. We got yeah. hits, though. You feel me? We was on some like all commercial beats, or we was going to like sound click. Get, oh, get, click. Getting the free <laughs> I beats. About them you beats feel on me? Click, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's how we was rocking it. But we Damn, ain't... sound click. Cause I remember I used to go in this bitch called uh, Give Me Beats. Dot com some shit, nigga. They sell beef like ten dollars with the hook on that bitch too. Oh, okay. <laughs> nigga be that bitch like, all right, bet. Only thing I gotta do is worry about these two verses. Right. We good to go, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nigga. Dog, I forgot all about sound click, dog. Yeah, he's on that bitch. You gotta search on that bitch, cause there be so many trash beats, nigga. You gotta Yeah, yeah. We had motherfuckers we went to. Like, yeah, you be in that bitch for four hours looking for a Jolly beat, Giuliano, man. you know what I'm saying? There's some big motherfuckers on there back in the day who's giving <laughs> their shit out for the free. You see oh, what yeah. Shit. That's when I used to get uh the bullet mains that had the motherfucking instrumentals and shit, dog. Oh shit. So me and my nigga Reg be in that bitch trying to rap to a game beat. Thinking it's sweet for his uncle to hold us. Oh. Like, man, y'all niggas ass, nigga. Go back home, dog. Like, yeah. We about to perform at some place, nigga. That nigga hold the fuck out of us, dog. <laughs> we ain't wrote to this is how we do, nigga. Like, we thought we were sweet as fuck, nigga. That bitch was trash as fuck, dog. Yeah. Nigga, uncle was in that bitch horn. It was like, nigga, boo, y'all niggas whack as fuck. Like, fuck out of here, dog. And we went by a kind of, if you look at it now, it's a gay name, nigga. City Boys. City we was Boys. Young City Boys, nigga. Like, <laughs> we had a whole little Miss Tape out and shit, dog. Man, that shit was ass. I remember. Mean, I was on the city boy shit early. Yeah, man. early, nigga. Early, back in early. 0- 07. 07. Nigga, we probably missed a little seven song shit. We used to pass the bitches out. And yeah, we got the motherfucking old school phone shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nigga, we used to pass the bitches out, dog, at St. Andrews. And we leave our number on that bitch. A nigga called me and told me my shit was ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's dog, right for real. Oh, so we had, we, we, had uh, we recorded on my nigga, uh, Weezy Brother, dog. That nigga, Bro. that nigga, Weezy Brother had a studio, dog. So we in that bitch, nigga, put the music out. I remember I had Mike Jones beat. Um, mm. It was some other shit, dog. And I'll write, nigga, Young City Boys coming soon. And I put my motherfucking contact number in that bitch, dog. So me and Reds are passing bitches out to like 10 motherfuckers. Nigga called me the next day, nigga. I didn't know a number. And that bitch with the voicemail, like, dog, this shit ass. Y'all niggas ass, man. Duh. Stop fucking rapping, nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm that bitch, I'm, I'm listening to the voicemail, nigga, sad as fuck. Like, damn, it's fucked up, bro. Hurt, like, hurt. Man, you heard as hell. That nigga just roasting your ass on that motherfucking voicemail. That nigga took the time to leave a voicemail. You already know your shit ass. Right. Like, niggas don't leave voicemails. That nigga let that bitch ring eight times. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to get this motherfucking right. shit out. Like, nigga, this shit garbage, nigga. Yeah. That shit, that shit hurt, me, hurt me a little bit, nigga. Almost had me stop rapping. <laughs> that shit was fucked up, dog. <laughs> man, that shit fucked up. Yeah, but shit, with you, man, you got, uh, you doing your music, man. You got kids. You in a relationship? Oh, I'm married. Oh, you oh shit, nigga, yeah, you got kids? Sure. I got a daughter, two two year old daughter. Oh shit, that's what's up, man. Congrats, yeah, dog. How do you? It, appreciate it. I ask that shit because how do you like balance your music with your motherfucking relationship? Because a lot of times your motherfucking lady be mad as hell. You leave the house, nigga. Hey, this shit right here, though. Yeah, hey, this shit different. This shit, this shit way different. different. Like me and like, me me and baby been together. Like we've been knowing each other since high school. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then we linked up, you know, at the college type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we've been together a long, long time. We just got married a couple years ago, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So this this is really on some best friend type shit. Like this is my dog for real. She, you know, fully supportive of everything I do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like type shit. Like everything. You know what I'm saying? Not one thing I do. 
Yeah. She don't support. You That's what's up. So she ain't get no attitude. Like, damn, you been, you been studio for five hours. Yeah, like, I know. Crazy I... part though. The songs you talking about back in the day, yeah. she on some Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She rapping to shit? Oh, yeah. She was fire. <laughs> she was fire. She, she joined on my... See, I had a lot of phases. You feel me? She joined on my lyricality phase. Yeah. You feel me? I got a lot of shit in my repertoire. So, yeah. back when I was just like, you know, wordplay heavy. and yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's when she, you know, she always was a writer, but, you know... Back when I got the booth, you know, it was everybody that's get to work. Yeah, hell no. So can you, since she a writer, can she ever be like, hey man, take take this line up, put this in, and you listen? And she like, Cause oh yeah, I go, I, I I I go to her because I'm overcritical of my yeah, shit. Yeah, because somebody, somebody, yeah, yeah. I I you be I be, like, I be dissing enough. shit and it be like, you know what I'm saying? Because I want it to be more fire. I, I yeah. know I can make more fire. So if it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's a certain element of I got to communicate to niggas on the tracks too. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She helped me like. Not be so critical, you know what I'm saying? I run the shit by her sometimes, like, all right, yeah. should I keep this shit? Because I done already erased it, but I got it in my head, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you thought, you know what I'm saying? She yeah. was like, oh, that's fire, you feel me? All right, yeah. I'll keep it then. Yeah, yeah. Because, nigga, they, they going to keep it real with you, because, like, you want to make sure you keep the right niggas around who going to keep it real about the music. You don't want the yeah. niggas to be like, that shit straight, and that you, shit really ass. Like, and you got to have a motherfucker that know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers Cause think... Because they can tell you ass, but can't tell you what, what you should do to make that shit sound better. Yeah, yeah. You know or they I'm might not? tell you it's sweet based on yeah. some bullshit that they like. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. Shit might not, might not help you anyway, but... Yeah, that nigga married. You in love, cuz. We, we both in love, nigga. I'm married too, nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. When you yeah, do that yeah, shit, yeah. nigga, you already know, like, damn, like, <laughs> it's over, nigga. Like, it yeah. must be over. Some niggas be some dirt bags. Yeah. Nigga, that shit must right. be over, nigga. Like... For real, for real. When you I say mean, I do, nigga, your motherfucking heart be racing like, damn. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, for sure. married. Like, I'm a married ass nigga. I was just a motherfucking in St. Andrews, nigga. Like, we talk about this, nigga. Trying to get everybody out and their mama, nigga. Right. I and mean, <clears throat> one person. I mean, like, it's different for us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like I said, we do everything together. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If, yeah. if, if, if it's certain shit, if it's certain <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? We still got to do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We still do it, you know? Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> I feel you, though. <laughs> keep it all in the family. Hell yeah, got to. T Pain, nigga. Yeah, for sure. Y'all know, if y'all know what I'm talking about, look up T Pain's wife. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> That'd be foolish, dog. <laughs> for real, for real. Yeah. No, because, dog. Uh, these little niggas in my job, dog. These niggas little little niggas. You only got one kid, right? Yeah. So I'm on my third. I'm done, nigga. Three albums, I'm out. Three albums. Yeah. Wow. It's about to go platinum, nigga, right? <laughs> we about to go WNBA and shit in this bitch. Oh, shit. But no, I'll tell you these niggas like, dog, this nigga had a little baby and shit, 19. I had my first kid when I was like 19, about to be 20. So nigga, I'm like, cuz, like, nigga, like, I told a nigga, like, nigga, whatever you do, nigga, make sure that relationship good, because if y'all break up, just make sure that shit good, because if it's bad, nigga, you gonna be fucked. Yeah, thank like, you. I'm about to give me about four bitches pregnant. I'm like, dog. Little niggas though, dog. So that made me come up with some shit, nigga. Little nigga shit versus some shit I've been through. Like, for instance, little nigga shit, I said I would never eat no pussy. Mm. Nah. <laughs> nigga. Yeah. 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 Nah. <laughs> nah. Nigga, me and, me and motherfucking yeah. wife get to bed. Yeah, nigga. You know. I'm, I'm attacking the pussy. Like, right. nigga, like that, so what's some little nigga shit you say you like, ain't got me about eat pussy, nigga, like, or ass and shit. I said I would never eat ass, then quarantine hit. We yeah. said crib every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, 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 what's she I say about Kobe? Nigga? Rest yeah, in yeah. peace. Tell me how my ass tastes. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. I ain't gonna post this shit. <laughs> the Kobe fans gonna kill my dumb <laughs> But oh, no, shit. when you quarantined it, did you and motherfucking your wife in the crib like, fuck, I'm gonna see how this ass tastes. <laughs> I'm gonna see how this hey, ass tastes. Everybody tell me ass is good. Like, <laughs> I'm eating pussy as well. It's just a step farther. <laughs> Way, huh? So nigga, niggas will be scared of ass, but nigga, shit, it ain't like no random ass. And she take about eight showers a day, so you know that's some clean ass, nigga. <laughs> yeah, bitch, just eat like damn, bitch. Dub all in this motherfucker. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, nigga take all type of vanilla motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> so shit, what, what, damn, what the fuck all the asses, nigga, dog? <laughs> young nigga shit. Oh yeah, yeah shit. so what's some, what's some young nigga shit? You like, dog? I would never do this shit, but you got older, like, damn, I changed my whole. Like, oh, you mean like that? Yeah, that way. Some shit like not do it. Like, nigga, mostly, I never be faithful. Oh, uh, like uh, like. uh, <laughs> really? See, vegetables. <laughs> vegetables, my nigga. Like, like for real, I was like just straight burgers and bacon. Like bacon, bacon was my shit. Like. <laughs> Bacon, I might get some fries, you feel me? That was my only vegetable in life. But don't put no <laughs> tomatoes and lettuce, all that bullshit. Like, put extra bacon on my shit. Like, so, look, my whole life I'm like this, right? Bacon, I, I don't fuck with salads, none of that shit, right? <laughs> Nigga, I've been a vegetarian for like three years Damn, now. Damn, for real? Yeah, yeah. Man, like so, straight, straight there or like, like some niggas be vegetarian be eating fish and shit? Right, let me stop. I'm, 
I don't eat meat. I still eat like candy. Yeah. You feel me? That oh, type, no, that no, type of shit. Yeah, because it be pork and not, nigga. I don't eat toothpaste, nigga. Like, you eat meat, cuz. Yeah, right, right, right. Meat. You feel me? You ain't vegetarian. <laughs> you feel me? But like, I don't eat no meat. Like, yeah. no. Yeah, beef, that shit hard, pork, beer, none of that shit. Man, that shit hard, nigga. Damn, that shit hard. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is hard. It's, it was yeah, hard as fuck. You feel what I'm saying? I don't think I could ever give that up. That is some young nigga thinking it's a for show grown nigga shit, nigga. That nigga say he ain't eat no vegetables when he was a little kid. Yeah, at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, when I was young, my, my mama made me eat yeah, that yeah. shit. You feel what I'm saying? That's what you can't motherfucking nigga be like, don't, don't, leave, but, don't leave a table until you eat them motherfucking vegetables. Yeah, like, as soon as I can make my arm cook for myself type shit, yeah. I'm never eating that shit again. Like, <laughs> never. Duh, I was that bitch fucking greens up as a little nigga, dog. Yeah, I wasn't having it. First thing I, nigga, I ain't eat broccoli until I became a grown nigga. Yeah. Nigga, I, I love that bitch with some cheese, nigga. Like yeah, that shit fire. Hell yeah, little nigga, I can't eat none of that shit, boy. I think the worst vegetable, nigga. My mom tried to get me eat with some motherfucking sweet peas. Beans. Sweet peas. Yeah, beans, anything beans was nasty as fuck, dog. Pork, I mean not pork. Pork beans the truth. Yeah, some sugar, some hot dogs in that bitch, nigga. You, you fucking some pork beans, <laughs> nigga. For real, for real, for real. Shit, man, we talking about uh, you know, you, you say you know, what I'm saying you know, you and the wifey and shit like that. Like nigga, do y'all celebrate uh fucking sweetie sweetest day, nigga? Oh, that's some shit, like right, nigga. Man, that shit's stupid. Uh, to be honest, you know what I'm saying? It just depends on how the, how the pace of our life go. Like, we we celebratory people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When we up, you know what I'm saying? If shit going good, yeah. I'm going to just get her some shit. I know she wants. She going to just give me some shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, we don't really, you know what I'm saying? Of course, there's holidays. We can't skip all our own type yeah. shit. But, like. Christmas, like, damn. I got yeah, Christmas, yeah, niggas yeah. be stressed out on Christmas. Yeah, yeah, niggas yeah. get bald hair on Christmas. Like, damn, I lost my motherfucking hair shit. Yeah, her birthday in the beginning of the Christmas month. Then damn. at the end of that bitch, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, <laughs> we going to work it out. Bitch, yeah, we going to work it out, though. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? As far as, like, Sweetie's Day, Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying? That shit just whatever. You know, most of the time we do do some shit, but this time we ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we ain't do shit for real. We just, but we don't celebrate that shit for real, though. Like, I would say that shit because I was saying motherfucking hoes was... Had some nasty ass plates on the motherfucking ass from Facebook. Yeah, like, Damn, you cooked that? You can shame your goddamn self, man. Some goofy shit. He used, to, he used to break up with your ass for that fucking plate. Cause I'm like, dog, like, and then, like, nigga, like, y'all, nigga, females get away with cooking you something, nigga. Like, let you do some shit like that, nigga. They're like, dog, this, this broke ass nigga's gonna cook for me? <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker give me a car, like, I'm in that bitch car game up, nigga. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Broke that, you gotta motherfucking write your own car, like, let me fill this fuck paper up. Motherfucking construction shit. Yeah, right. but no, sweet, that's some bullshit. I just seen that shit yesterday, dog, because everybody in my mom was out to eat, dog. Mm-hmm. We just went out to eat because we was really hungry and we didn't feel that cooking. Like, that holiday shit be some bullshit, dog. It's just a way yeah. for you to spend some money when you ain't got to. Yeah, dog. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Christmas, you got to when you got kids because they don't know no better. Like, yeah, that's what's fucked up. Like, we don't even believe in holidays and pagan holidays, all that bullshit. Woo, woo, woo. But, you know what I'm saying? You ain't your whole witness, are you? No, I ain't. Okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, hell no. I just, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I just. No, some some parents like, yeah. You know, I was a part of that that wave with the conscious crowd and, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) Learning about where all this shit comes from. So it's like, you know, uh. You know, I ain't believe in all that shit. But the, for the sake of our daughter, yeah. we, we oh, go yeah, through sure. we yeah, go through all that shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so nigga, I remember nigga, uh, my wife and kids, y'all seen that shit? That show. Damn that, Wayne. Shit. that nigga that nigga yeah. was so cheap, that nigga turned Muslim on motherfucking Christmas. <laughs> 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 like nigga, I'm about to be Muslim, nigga. Like everybody get me. That's crazy. Christmas, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So nigga, we, uh like I said, we were talking about I was talking about like if you, you feel like you got some love from this tape, like you feel like you get enough support from the city and if not, do you feel like you ever need to move away to get that love, like you know what I'm saying? Because most niggas show hella love in other states and shit, but Detroit are always like a, a crab in the barrel yeah, type shit. Like, yeah, it's a different type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You need you need that validation before you can get that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I really feel like I'm so, you know, I never plateaued into really having a, a base of yeah. fans. You feel what I'm saying? So, so shit, if you, if you had to do it, it should be easy for you like to move, like... If you want to move, like, if you like, all right, nigga, I'm going to pop off a little bit better in motherfucking Yeah, I ain't, tied, I ain't tied to shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm definitely tied to this music before yeah. anything, you know what I'm saying? So, and we still, you know, daughter ain't in school type shit, so yeah, it's, it's still, still prime good, yeah. time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to bounce around, do what we got to do. Hell yeah, so, for sure, for sure. Hell yeah, nigga, so shit, uh, you, what you want? You, you want a deal or a partnership? If you if you had to, if Birdman was right here, like, let me give you a deal. Yeah, if I had that nigga, build, that nigga deals be fucked up. Right, that nigga right. deals be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You you get that deal, you basically just like you know what I'm saying. You getting out here, you getting out here. Hell yeah, you feel me for sure. But uh, if I had to choose for sure, I want like you know what I'm saying, a uh, partnership or like yeah. management deal or you know not yeah, really like. Would you, all right, let me tell you this: Would you do a 360 deal for the right price, nigga? Like, oh my bad. 
Because the 360 deal, I mean, they, they, they got a piece of everything. They're going to make a wrestling man. You know what I'm saying? They got a piece of that motherfucker wrestling for It'll have to be the right price in the right amount of time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, because niggas be locking niggas in like five albums. Yeah, deals, fuck all like that. Not from the 360. You have to, we'll be in and out, you know what I'm saying? With that type of thing. But yeah, I, would, I wouldn't I would want to do that type of shit. Yeah, what about what about age cap? Like, you be like, dog, right, if I ain't got nothing going on, like, like city love or just. Everywhere, like, is it age? Like, you be like, nigga, if I get this age and ain't shit popping, like, I'm done. Yeah, I was just thinking about this shit yesterday. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely, it's definitely, I never stop rapping. I yeah. never stop creating, never stop writing, all of that type of shit. But as far as investing and yeah. promos and videos and all that shit, yeah, I definitely got an age cap. I ain't gonna speak on it. It ain't nowhere near close yeah, here. Yeah, sure, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I definitely, you know, as long as I get that. That Spotify that, check, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That little, it's, it ain't much, but yeah, as long as that get, bitch coming, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Somebody, I'm in somebody playlist, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Then I'm going to keep trying to get to See, them. I, yeah, so, so you really be getting, like, they really send you a check from your streams and shit, like, for real, for real? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah my, shit be like, like my shit be like $75 a quarter, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Some shit like that, you know what I mean? Shit, but, nigga, if I make $10, I'm happy. Like, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Nigga, play my shit, cuz? I be lit every time I get the check, you feel me? Because, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not doing it for... Just me, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers think they cold and think they this and think they that. As long as the numbers, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I ain't never got negative negativity from my shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas who fuck with my shit, they fuck with my shit, you know what I'm saying? They look for my shit and, you know, that type of shit. They learn my words and, you know what I'm saying? Like, that type of shit, so. Hey, because like I said, when I listen to that shit, man, you were saying some shit. Like, I remember that shit with the whole motherfucker. It wasn't too tired, though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, damn, I'll be, be a nigga in that minute, dog. Like, yeah. damn, I'm, I can't that's wait to have that shit. That's and lit. I'll be stressed out. Damn, that fucking, that coming at me? So, I'll be like, that damn, nigga in the minute. Damn, that was a long time. <laughs> That bitch like damn, I don't, I don't know if I pulled out right. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you, that bitch got too good. You got Safe. drunk, nigga. Gave her motherfucking, motherfucking liquor dick, and like, <laughs> like I don't know what the fuck I did. Like, you don't remember that motherfucker fucking? Like you like damn, I'm all fucked up in the game. So Man. that shit gonna be straight for real, dog. So shit, what's the what's the name? What's some uh, what's some thing? Is there some shit that you wanna do outside of music, dog? Like, is there some clothing, like movies, oh. whatever? Yeah, yeah. That little gift I gave you was um. Oh yeah. Prototype for my uh loner baby apparel coming out yeah. real soon. Um, you know the wave of shit right now is just the Detroit uh you know Detroit babies Everybody with the, the buffs on and shit saying? like that. that we my wife got a full crafting company. You feel me? So she do you know what I'm saying this right here hoodie. Okay. You know any anything like she just did a birthday party. It was making little Hershey's. And, water bottle labels yeah. and all that type of shit. So oh, yeah, she do sure. everything. So you feel me? Up under that, you know what I'm saying? We got the Loner Baby apparel coming in. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's just going to be heavy, good quality shit. Like, that's going to be the biggest difference. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got a I got a good artist that's coming up with the shit. And there's different editions of shit of the whole little Loner Baby family that you're going to see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's going to be better quality shit. What I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Stitches. We're going to have the whole stitches. Yeah. Patches, big ass patches on the shirts, the hats. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? New era blank hats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah. type of shit. So high quality. Yeah. You can good make the Loner Baby uh, movie, nigga. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Little sweet, animation man. flick. You yeah, feel yeah. what I'm saying? For sure. For time, you know? it's a cartoon, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> it's, it's so much shit, though. I say shit like nigga joke, but for real. Like, it's so much shit you could do as far as music that can cross over the other things. Right. Thing, depending on the name. And like, like you said, loner baby, you you can you can turn this to anything. Yeah, yeah. Clothes, anything for kids, whatever. Yeah, for sure. Like for this, sure. This depends on like like I said, you got the mother, like this shit right here, like nigga, like I know it's probably like the little the logo and shit as far as like yeah, the, the clothing. Long, that's the first little baby. Yeah, so yeah, that'd be sweet as hell, dog. For real, for real. Yeah, so you said that's what you got going on, nigga. Yeah, that's the, the that's the shit. that's the main thing that's that's going on on the side. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's the crafting shit, the clothes, the hats, and all that. Yeah. The whole apparel coming out. Um, you, got, you got website niggas can get that shit done? Yeah, I'm tafius.com. Okay. T A Y F I O U S. Okay. Dot yeah. com. That's what you get the music you know what I'm saying? What's some, what some earlier names you had, dog? Like, besides Lil Tony, what's some other shit before you found your name? Like, I was, I'm Oh, I was black boy for a while. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? I was black boy, you feel me? My, uh, my uncles and shit always called my daddy black man and yeah. called me. They used to call me Lil Black Man, and they used to call him Black Boy. So yeah. when I started the rap shit, 
like in middle school, you feel me? That's when I started going with Black Boy. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Hell yeah, ain't nothing like a motherfucker good, good, good nickname. Nigga. I be judging niggas with nicknames. Like, damn, how the fuck you get that bitch? I ain't nothing. I'm just shy. No. That bitch yeah. like, it's gonna be shy, but the motherfucker like, boom, like, this nigga got a boomer. Like, fuck. Yeah. This nigga's gay, nigga, you boomer. <laughs> like, right, right. I ain't so long shit, I can't get no nickname, dog. Like, call me a little pork bean, this bitch. Call me a little pork bean. Some of this bitch, dog. I was always shy, dog. Mm. Little brother called me shy, nigga, that shit stuck with me. Like we call it, like Weez. This nigga got the coolest nickname. Nigga, like I ain't never, I ain't know his nigga real name until a year later, dog. Weez. I was calling nigga Weez every time. Oh, I love yeah. Weez. That nigga always Weez. My nigga and one. This nigga name and one. Duh. This nigga, he, that's a shit, nigga. You you know you a Hooper, nigga for sure. You got all the and one clothes. Yeah, and one was fire. <laughs> one or two, nigga. And one was lit. Hell yeah. So shit, nigga, we do this one shit, dog called uh, which would you rather be, dog? I give you two, you know, two people, whatever. Like, who would you who would you rather be, nigga? Paco uh, Paco Wayne. Like right now? Like nigga, like yo, over yeah, like you. Yeah, oh. Definitely win. I mean, of course you won't be dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck out of here. I want to live. <laughs> A long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> right now, nigga, oh, I'm winning. <laughs> that nigga's Jerome, my pop, nigga. I'm Jerome. Hey, <laughs> like, dog. Yeah, right, sure. Michael Jackson, or Prince. 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 Hove, Prince for sure. Hove or Nas? Hove. So you, so you really think Hove would be rapping Nas? Not a better oh. rapper. I don't think he's a better rapper. Uh, yeah. more, more iconic iconic rapper, obviously. Yeah, Jay-Z. You feel me? I was always a Hove over Nas fan, but we it wasn't about because of, you know what I'm saying, lyricality. Yeah, we've been talking about this shit for the longest, dog. Bro. Like, to me, like, Nas. Yeah, Nas little bro, for sure. Oh, hell no. Y'all niggas this shit. I think Nas little bro, as far as in the game, like, yeah. like I feel like Jay was bigger than, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, for with, sure with, he was with, bigger than him, but. But as far as, like, lyricist. Nas Nas is over over Hove for sure. You know what I'm saying? But Hove had that connection to where he could be he wasn't you didn't have to be a hundred percent lyrics. You feel me? You could you could put some lyrics in there and communicate, you know what I'm saying? Talk shit to the people and they I love my nigga Nas dog. Yeah, I fuck with Nas. Who would you rather be, nigga? Uh Jim Jones or Cam? <laughs> right, right now, whatever man, whatever man, Jimmy for sure. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, you know, niggas sleep on Jim Jones, bro. Yeah, I, I remember nigga, I was working at uh, fucking Kmart listening to Jim Jones, nigga, CDs. Like I'm mad at him and Wayne never really put out the. I mean Santana and Wayne never put out the album. Oh album yeah, like yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Santana, bro, Santana bro. come with heat. Like, the niggas that squad, dude. Who dark skin nigga? Hell real. Uh, the light skin nigga. Um, come damn, on. Forty Cal. Oh, no, Forty Cal was dark skin nigga. Hell real. Whatever nigga. And then you had motherfucking uh, what's name for he he passed away uh static quo well, like static oh, major yeah, yeah, yeah. static major yeah like you like Dipset was nigga what's name basically he came from Dipset nigga shit uh French he came through French yeah yeah like he was fucking what's name heavy nigga Jim Jones for him niggas started beefing and shit like all niggas was like yeah niggas, Dipset was a shit Dipset was a shit all right nigga Dipset a Jim a G unit Dipset. For sure. That shit hard. I mean, bro. like, like <laughs> not in terms of like I'm not thinking in terms of how it panned out. You know what I'm saying, yeah. or or what road they took. You feel me? I'm thinking in terms of these, like these people. Like you feel me? Like I feel like you know what I'm saying. Shit could shit should have went yeah. different for Dipset. You know what I'm saying? As big as it did for you know what I'm saying. Because the unit was, was was big, but them niggas just started just motherfucking. You but know? you know what I'm saying? As far as like individual artists on G Unit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. They was they was straight, you feel me? But yeah, well, what's saying? Them niggas, was hard, dog. Them niggas hard. All right, nigga. Uh, you say you hot boys. Of course, you you a Wayne fan. So, Bird, I mean BG or uh or, or Juvie. Juvie. Yeah. Yeah, Juvie for sure. All right, all right. I mean, I fuck with BG shit too. BG has some shit. The double disc. Yeah, yeah. BG, Jenga, Chopper, City, the Ghetto. Yeah, True Story. BG was that nigga, dog. Yeah, I fuck with All right, nigga. Last one. Where's the currency? Currency. Yeah, for sure, currency. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, little weird, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? Yeah, that's like, he's my favorite personal rapper to like personally. Yeah, dog. Yeah, he, yeah, vibes for sure. You know what I'm saying? Taylor yeah. Gang for sure. Hell yeah, dog. That shit. I'm trying to think of uh, what's name, dog. Like, I'm trying to think of the mistakes, dog. Who got it? All right, Lil Wayne mistakes or who else got who was good half mistakes? Fab, yeah. Yeah, Fab got some fire. Who got the who, who you think got the better mixtape catalog, dog? Fab or Wayne? Oh, I think Wayne the king of mixtapes. King uh, of mixtapes. See to me, Fab was... Fab got better um mixtapes than albums. He got better quality mixtapes, I think. I take Jeezy mixtapes over Weezy. Over Weezy? I don't know, dog. Wayne got them, them, them he got like he said, he got squad up. 
Dedications. Got, yeah, dedications. No, no, no ceiling. Yeah. Uh, droughts. Yeah, droughts. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. All right, then we do this shit, dog. Top three, dog. Give me your top three favorite rappers. In the city or in where? Just wherever. Top three. Gotta be right now. Uh. Dollar, dollar, dollar. Right, right, right. <laughs> motherfucking uh, uh, Tafius, Wayne. Oh, yeah, for sure. And motherfucking Sada. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, give me, your, give me your top three old school TV shows. Old school TV shows. Yeah. Um, shit. Old school TV shows. All right, um, shit. Motherfucking Martin. Yeah, you can't, you can't never go around Martin. For sure. Man. You don't say um, Martin, yeah. he's, he's motherfucking. Uh, I used to watch motherfucking uh, Cosby Show faithfully. Yeah. I'm a fuck with Cosby Show. And then, shit, because I wasn't a big TV head. I was a music head, for yeah. sure. But, uh, See, motherfucking. Fresh Prince Family Matters in that bitch. All right. Good times. Say, uh, you got to say Fresh Prince. Hell yeah, that's yeah. just, just it was true, dog. Yeah. Motherfucker, what you, you, uh, Martin, uh, what's the else you said? Big Cosby show. Yeah, it was, <laughs> that was my hood, shit. You be like, damn, I wish I was a Cosby family. <laughs> nah, <laughs> that shit was just funny though. Yeah, yeah shit, but it was like, yeah, they had that cheese. Bitch, like, yeah, them niggas was lit for sure. Damn, their life was lit. Damn, Claire was getting bread. Yeah, Claire and, and Cliff <laughs> had yeah, that cheese. Yeah, Claire was the finest TV mom ever. Yeah, she's still for sure. For sure, she for sure. Still, I was in the Unwind. Yeah, who? Unwind on the Bernie Mac show. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know when you say Wanda, I start thinking about motherfucker. Let me call her. Alright, give me your give me your top three childhood crushes, nigga. Like hoes you fuck when you was young. Uh Kyla Pratt. Kyla Pratt? Oh, I think she's still bad. Oh, yeah, she's still Damn. bad. Damn. Megan Good. Mm -hmm. You a good nigga? Holly Berry shit. Back, Berry, back in the day. Shit, but like you wanna ask some of these questions, nigga. What's your top three, nigga? <laughs> 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 Dog, Kyle Pratt for sure. Yeah, she still. She posted something the other day. I'm in that bitch like, man. Right. Kyle Pratt for the show, for sure, nigga. Make it good. That's and like, me alone, Jay Pickett. I got to put all four of them in that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nia for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when she was running on Barry Matt, nigga, and the motherfucker biker pants, like. Nia. Yeah, she had Shanti. Oh, I mean, Shanti's today. She's at birthday. Yeah, she's yeah, still yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah Shanti aged well, yeah. nigga. Like, yeah. fine wine, that bitch. Yeah. Golly. All right, give me your top three movies, dog. Top three motherfucking movies, Belly. Um, I know what he about to say, so he hate that shit. Motherfucking uh, damn Belly. I'm gonna say uh, the Born, the whole Born little thing, Born Identity, oh, yeah, Supremacy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trilogy, all that shit. Uh, and then Scarface, that was my shit. I watched that shit so to much. Me, to me, forever watch that bitch for the first time. I watched that bitch so many times. Hell yeah, man! All right, shit, nigga. We were talking about that shit earlier, dog. You got a hot mummy or a jump mummy, dog. Oh, damn. Like a, f a funny story when you was fucked up, or shit, you could have been both of them bitches. Um, I don't got, I don't got no funny stories because I ain't no fucking nigga yet. But <laughs> if you know, I ain't had enough. But but definitely, like I was, I was like fourteen and chilling with my cousins. We was probably over there, over there, ring drinking, smoking, bitches, yeah. all this shit, and I ended up walking off with this bitch. And we end up walking forever. And this bitch ended up like trying to get me on a bus, trying to take me on a bus. You feel me? Like, I don't know where this bitch was going. And then she started, she started getting aggressive and shit, like trying to, like when the bus pulled up type shit. I'm like, what do what, what, you mean? Really want to get on the bus? I think we just walking, you feel me? Caking and all that type of shit. The bitch was really trying to grab me on the bus and type shit. And I had to yank off the bitch and run back to the crib. No, I just went there. Motherfucker tried to kidnap me. But I was drunk and hiding the motherfucker, though. Yeah, she was like 18, 19. And I was like 13, 14 or some shit like that. 14, I might have been 15. Yeah. It was about to be old. If I take that nigga motherfucker on Bernie's house, you about to have that bitch chilling your feet. Like, hold on, bitch, hold on. Dog, I think it turned to a whole get out situation. That yeah, bitch, get out. Like, damn, that nigga used to be a rapper. Yeah, niggas ain't believe me when I came back and shit. Dog, I thought I was going to bullshit. Then they said. Motherfucker got to walk in three miles when I catch a buzz like that. Yeah, we going farther. Right. We definitely. <laughs> you remember the selfie. Yeah. <laughs> you remember the buzz like, where we going now? Like, shit. Yeah. Um, Bernice said, come on in. <laughs> My nigga might be tired. I'm like, where that nigga take me to go, dog? Oh, nigga, motherfucker, little Tony, that bitch gone. 
Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> that nigga like, dog, last time we seen him, he was working with Felicia. <laughs> you know, freaky Felicia. <laughs> nigga into a whole story on this bitch, dog. Yeah. See, that's the first episode of motherfucking Loner Boy, nigga. Yeah, Loner Boy. Got motherfucking... Try to give me. <laughs> yeah. My motherfucking, motherfucking Lil Easy and motherfucking Um Patrice in this bitch, <laughs> Damn. What's some shit, dog? Like, what's some shit, nigga? Like, last question. What's some shit you would change, like, that you made, like, all right, I'm, I should start earlier. I should have did this. Like, what's some shit you would change on your approach to music? Oh, uh, I would have started. Oh, you mean like I, what I should change right now? No, what you would change from the from the from the jump street? Like, what oh, I would have started. I would have started putting this shit out in 2011. Yeah. I would have started paying for videos and beats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know about a lot of that shit till like four years later. Yeah. I thought when a nigga buy a beat, it was gonna be ten, twenty thousand dollars or some yeah. shit like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't even know niggas like me made beats. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, all that shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Four, five hundred tracks, all that bullshit. I should have put all that shit out. Yeah, yeah, Started yeah. it back So you then. make beats now? No, I don't make beats. Okay, so that's some shit. You, that ain't some shit you ever thought about, like, with the music shit, to stay in that bitch, like, a production or, like, being a ghostwriter? I, I have, uh, so I produce, I engineer, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, executive produce, I should say. Yeah. You feel me? I've been doing that since for, like, ten years, but, you know, that's time consuming. I didn't dibble dabble in beats and, like, got to a point where I can make Full good beats with drops and all that shit in it, but mm -hmm. that's time consuming. It's like I already got to do promotion and handle all that shit, so I just want to rap. So <laughs> I feel like I can do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. even even the videography. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. be fucking like I make the little commercials and shit that I run on the ads and shit. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. I can do that shit, but I don't. So you like, want you want write for nobody? Like, like I would write for somebody for the check. What the what the nigga like? Shit, we want you as a full time writer, but you can't spit a bar. Oh, they can't tell me I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to hit one bar, yeah. nigga, but from motherfucking man to tell you, nigga. Don't you know what I'm saying? Because even when, even, when even when I write my shit, you feel me? <laughs> even when I write for a nigga, it ain't going to... You know what I'm saying? It's going to be high quality, but it ain't going to be what I would say for yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be for you. You yeah. know what I mean? Shit yeah. you like and shit you want to talk about. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Man. Hell no, that nigga said, no, I'm good. I'm yeah. Good. <laughs> can't silence. Well, shit, where can't follow you at, dog? Where can't you follow you at, dog? Where can't get the music? Like... Uh man, Instagram, Big Squad, Tafius, you know what I'm saying? Really you can go to Tafius dot com. T A Y F I O U S dot com. That's where everything at. That's where the merch at. That's where all the visuals at. That's where the projects at. Streaming links. This Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes, all that. You feel me? Google search Tafius. Anything Tafius, you know what I'm saying? That's how you can get to me for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Shit coming, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the mailing list. You're on the website, you get all the exclusive shit, like the commercial weeks for a drop. You know what I'm saying? I got another video that I'm sitting on, but I'm going to hit it to the mailing list. Is that the Amazon joint? No, that oh, one came out already. Uh, I got uh, this is a song that ain't even on the motherfucking tape, yeah. but it's a single. Yeah. It's called Retro. You feel what I'm saying? It's like a straight through, like like 48 bars or some shit like oh, that. For sure. You feel yeah, me? I so I do. Real entrepreneur, nigga, say you can be on the motherfucking weekly list on the Gmail email, right? Yeah, you get on the motherfucking, go subscribe <laughs> to the motherfucking uh weekly newsletter for mm -hmm. tapeus com. You get all the exclusive shit. You feel me? Like yeah. the shit that's gonna come out for about this. That's what it's gonna be at first. Yeah. You feel me? Should eventually make its way to the other shit, but some shit might not make its way. You know, for sure. Hell behind yeah, the man. scenes, BTS, all that. For sure, man. I, say, I appreciate you coming on the show, dog. Yeah, I definitely. Y'all sure get this motherfucking mistake. Intro tape and shit. Intro tape out yeah. everywhere. Make sure y'all listen to that shit. And if you smoking weed, don't go walk with no hoes because you might get on the bus. Oh, yeah. Not too bad.